Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange, and today I'm playing Miltidy Spears. The advantages of this unit is that they're very mobile. They have that pretty small cooldown on their charge ability. I think mine's 23 seconds. They have the fear to slow enemies down, and they have breaking ranks. So they're all about the movement. The weaknesses are they're not the best at melee engagements with other infantry units. That's why usually I do bring a pike unit along, but you guys are probably sick of seeing fucking pikes. So I thought maybe I'll spice it up and not play pikes for once. Usually when I do play Miltiade Spears, I just protect the ranged units on my team until they start losing. At which point I try to hunt down the enemy ranged units, trying to get that range advantage for our team back. The reason I do that is because Miltiades Spears are very good at killing anything that's very good at killing ranged units. Which is other ranged units and cavalry. Of course at the start I want to protect them from the cavalry. I'll let them try to outshoot the enemy. If that doesn't work you do have to go in there, in my opinion. And go fuck up some, some archers. This usually works better with archers and um, slingers. I am protecting javelins. I have no idea how to fucking protect these guys because they have to get so close to shoot with infantry units and I don't really want to get that close to fucking other infantry units. I'd rather play the kiting game with some archers on my team or some slingers on my team. But what can you do? Now here I am going in to help my cavalry ally here. My dudes are very strong. They hit for like 500 against enemy cavalry. Uh, cavalry. Cavalry. <laughs> it looks like the enemy has gone overconfident, thinking that we have nothing in this forest area. They are fucking dead wrong. There goes the charge. Unfortunately, this was before the patch, so you can't charge for your own units. But they are going to get fucked up anyway. I'll put fear on them to slow them down. My guys are moving at a very high speed, so I can chase them down and finish them. I'm pretty sure I finished all of them. Well. There we go, close enough. Now that those tier 7s on the enemy team are out of the way, our team should have a good advantage here. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for. One thing I have recently started doing is not relying on fear to actually rout the enemy. Sometimes it works fucking great, but I'm not relying on it. Sometimes I send all my three units in, try to surround someone, and they don't fucking rout. And then my guys die, because Vengeance fucks them up. Uh, every melee commander fucks them up. So I try not to rely on that shit. And as you can see, tier 6 swords with Germanicus will fuck up tier 7s. So I am going to have to pull out there. It's not worth the fucking cost on my units. I've got better targets to kill. There's still catapults to kill, probably range units. So I will be withdrawing to go fight them, and I have to protect my javelins now, who are getting surrounded here. Unfortunately, they're not moving, so I am going to have to go in and fight the guys I really don't want to fight. <laughs> One thing I'm not a fan of with spears is when you charge, you can put yourself at a disadvantage. Because the minute you pop your phalanx stance, any guys that overcharge basically instantly die because they get attacked in the back. So once you use that charge ability, it's very hard to phalanx safely. And man, you sometimes have to phalanx. That's just the way it is. Also, when you backtrack in phalanx, you do seem to lose a lot of guys as well. And you lose morale. It's, I'm just not a fucking big fan. <laughs> they do work very well with Leonidas. Thanks to him having that shield bash, you can shield bash and then backtrack. You won't lose that many. And you have hold the line to so help your morale. Basically, spears were made for Leo. Unfortunately, pikes are just better on Leo. So, what's the fucking point? And this is a good example of what I mean by not relying on fear. They have almost no troops. They're completely surrounded. Look how long it takes. They're pretty much fucking dead by the time I route them. Look, they got one dude there. Still not fucking routed. Still not there. Finally, he probably fucking died. <laughs> Now the archers are finally coming out of the forest area. Looks like we are outnumbered. We do have slingers though, so... Well, there's my answer. They would rather shoot that one dude instead of the enemy ranged units. 
no point protecting them really, you're not sure if they're going to just fucking shoot the fuck out of me every time I get into combat. So I'm better off just going in and hunting down the range units. While their archers are firing at me, I like to zigzag, it reduces the damage a fair bit when they miss like that. In the meantime, I've got this unit coming through the forest and I'm going to hope that this guy doesn't notice. I'm not actually going for the archers he's protecting because I don't want to fight him. Even though he is fucking tier 4. I probably could have just killed him, but you know, these guys are just... I just want to kill the archers, alright? Don't... Oh, I just want to fucking kill the archers. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Once all their ranged units are dead, if we have ranged units still alive, it puts us at a big advantage. Hopefully they don't have too much cav left. And I don't like taking missile fire, so I'm just going to keep running through here. Keeping the pressure on their archers, so they can't just turn around and start shooting me again. I'm not wor too worried about those spears, they are pretty slow, especially now that they're in phalanx. I will lose a few guys, possibly. But it has opened up a new opportunity to kill these guys. Unfortunately, did I have my charge up or not? Oh well, fuck it. They are killing them, <laughs> that's what counts. Now these guys are almost fully undefended, there's only a little sword unit I'll have to worry about. They shouldn't be able to do too much to me though. I don't want to be eating a heavy infantry charge though with this amount of troops left. It could be the end of me, so I just ran back there, dodged that, and now I have to stop this cav from killing our slingers. Unfortunately it looks like they have even more cav heading around the other direction. So you should have luck there. The best I can do is delay these guys as much as possible, maybe even catch them. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I know at the high tiers, with Miltides, you can actually catch Cav way easier than this. Because you do have that shorter cooldown on your charge ability. Come on. I got a few of them. Got a few. Now if you saw my other speed unit in the background there, Look how hard of a time it was to kill that fucking <laughs> sword unit. That's why I mainly try to avoid combat with Dramaticus and Sulla. It's just too punishing. Rather just try to get around them, kill the cav, kill the ranged units, and ignore them. <laughs> I find versus Barbarian Infantry Spears can do pretty well. They don't exactly have a vengeance, they have defiance which is half as good and they can't control their units. And Sulla, he just seems to be, he, I don't know, he just seems to do pretty damn well. I don't know much about Sulla, to be honest. This, <laughs> this is fucking from when I've been fighting him, he does alright. He's no Germanicus, though. Once this game does go into open beta, though, I will be playing Sulla first. I have some good ideas of what he might be capable of, just by looking at his abilities, etc. But we'll have to wait and see. He even has some interesting fucking scorpion abilities. I am going into Phalanx here just trying to hold up all these Roman infantry units so I can kill the enemy archers. It doesn't look, look like he's going to split his force, which means that I have a free fucking path to the enemy here. Once I get that charge up, that unit should drop. Oh, he has separated them now. A bit too late though, mate. I'm fast. That's what I've got going for me as Miltides. I've got the fucking speed. In one more tier, these guys will be even faster. They go down to a 13 second charge from a 23 second charge. I am looking forward to testing that. I have some interesting ideas, such as you could go charge someone, go back into Phalanx, withdraw a bit, lift Phalanx, and charge again. Unfortunately, charges seem pretty fucking weak at the moment. But, you know... Sounds like a fun idea. It's probably fucking shit. <laughs> we'll find out. Now I'm running out of options here, so I'm just going to have to fight this guy. Fortunately, he is only tier 5, so that gives me a clear advantage. If he was tier 7, I'd probably get fucking wrecked, because swords, yeah, do a very good job against spears when it's equal tier. Or should I say Miltiade spears? I think Leo's spears do have a good chance against sword units. Miltides ones, not so much. They do have the speed though. So that's what makes up for it. They also have uh, the morale affecting ability. I don't find that part of the ability that fucking useful anymore. 
Now this bit I do try to run away to save our team some points. I think it was a mistake, I should have just stayed there and fought. I had them wedged in there, could have put my phalanx down. It said I run like a bitch. And this bit I really fuck up, I try to put my phalanx down and face in the wrong fucking direction. For some reason I think I'm Kanani Pikes and try to turn around there. Does not work that way, your turn speed's about the same as fucking Pikes. And I'm on middle tidy, so I don't have the turn speed. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much fucked. This bit I don't really get, it looks like I am facing the right direction. He still fucking doesn't really take any damage. Doesn't really matter at this stage of the game. Now I'm trying to run away, find some place to escape to. Unfortunately, here comes the enemy cab, and I do not have phalanx up. Do manage to dodge that pretty nicely, but my morale breaks. And now I am totally fucked. <laughs> and that's the end of me. Anyway guys, how are you enjoying the new patch? I have played it a fair bit, I did wait until they hotfixed it, I couldn't be fucked playing it if the stats aren't right, especially since I do plan on playing archers. And if they were just going to be overpowered for a week or so, I didn't find there was much point playing it. And the deleted friends list wasn't very helpful. I guess I'll sum up this game, it pretty much is the end, our team waits at the base, the timer ticks out, we win. Nothing too exciting. I believe they do kill that war dog unit, but it's not enough for them to get in the lead. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and all that shit. See you later.